So what do they feel and think about you right now? We got five, we got five bottle cups here. One, two, three, four, and five. Number one, what do they feel and think about you right now? <sighs> this person is like in another planet right now. They don't want to communicate with anyone. They don't even want to communicate to spirit or angels or any creature or God. Or they don't want anyone to communicate to them. Let me drink my coffee. They do feel very sexual toward you though. Spirit, this is what Spirit want me to tell you right now. This person does not want to communicate to anyone. But they feel sexual toward you. And they just want to communicate to you. But they wait for you to say something to them. So if you said something to them, they rather just communicate with your soul. Something like that. They rather have you around to suck your dick or you eat in her pussy or so the other way, like eat your pussy. Something. They just want to be intimate with you. Number two, what do they feel and think about you? Number two, this person wanna wine and something and dine you, like take you somewhere fancy. This is what they feel right now. They think about it. I think about like inviting you out somewhere, but everything is closed for a reason. But they so they prepare something inside their house. It's like a date or something, but it's like this person fancy. They got a lot of shit on the table. They prepared something. They prepared a uh, glass, glasses, and some colors, like colors things, like, uh, I don't know, they decorated the table or something like that. They made the place look like a fancy restaurant. This person thinking about doing that and asking you out or something to their house. And uh, they got a lot of condoms because they, they going to act like they don't want it, but they do want it. So they already got condoms to be prepared. Let me drink my coffee. They thought about the details and how they will make the move on you. But I feel if they made the move on you, you will slap them. Because I feel you don't want it. Or you would just like sit, be like, hold on. I thought we were going to eat. Like what? I feel like what? I don't know why you're not feeling this person. If you're not feeling this person, why are you going out on a date with them? Hmm? So why would you go as I'm seeing the future? Like, what, do not accept if you don't feel them. So what do they feel and think about you right now? Yeah, they so want to invite you and get you. I feel like this person does not get the signs. This person does not understand signs. This person does not want to listen to signs. This person does not want to listen to angels or spirits saying something to them. Uh, they don't want to realize that you don't want them. This person does not want to realize that. I feel like you will go with the flow, but do not go with the flow too much, per se. Number three, what do they feel and think about your number three? This person is so jealous right now, so angry. They are burning. Like, I feel like this person's face is red. I'm not sure what they saw. They saw you posting something or you said something to them or you said something online or you posted some picture, you said some caption under the picture, you said something. Or on on Facebook or something, or you unfriended them. You did something to this person. They're just frustrated right now, and they're jealous, jealous as fuck. I feel like this person wanna take you and lock you, lock you inside the room with them, and just like get down on you so hard. They wanna like make you like you cannot breathe, you cannot, you cannot breathe, and then you shake. This person thinking about making you shake and begging them to stop. I'm not sure why this person be like that. I feel like this person wanna express the passion they have for you. They don't know how. And this is the only way they can think about doing. It's like holding you and showing you that by them having sex with you and fucking you. And this is the way they want to express how they like it, how they like you. So I feel like also this person got some secrets they want to tell you. They hide in the secrets and become really a burden to them. This person may be stalking you somewhere or something like that. And they got like, they got too far with it. I'm not sure what they did. Some of you, this person got too far with it. They stalk you now. They just cannot take it back they know that you knew something but they don't know how to come clean about it they don't know how to come clean about something that they did i'm not saying something so bad but it's toxic 
I feel like this person want to hold you, they're jealous. They want to tell you that they're jealous of something, but how would they admit what they saw? What they saw, if they're stalking you with another account, how would they admit what they feel? How it got more complicated. I feel like this is the karma from spirit. So I feel like uh, this person in the past where you were talking to them, they didn't talk to you with their normal self, who they are. They didn't show you the true color, who they are, their true nature. So karma, spirit, let them do this shit. Like, okay, you want to do it? Do it. Okay, do it. Do it. Do it. Now it's things got, got so out of line, so, so out of hand, out of control, because they fall in love with you more and more, and they've been watching you as a stalker, uh, talking to you about uh, with things, like, about things, and they become attached to you. So how would they come to you with their themselves, true self, and tell you that they were there the whole time? And they just got feelings and they're jealous because of that. Of that, How would they confront you with the moments that they share with you as a stalker, <laughs> as a catfish person? Uh, so this is like their karma. It's like to know how to let go of their mask. Them holding to their ego and not wanting to be vulnerable or showing something got them go so far in a toxic way and they need to fix it right now. So I feel this person is very jealous very resentful towards everyone around you they don't want anyone to touch you they're even very resentful toward people talking to them this person just thinking about you and they're just burning they want to hold you and they want to like make you shake i feel like this person they just see you shaking i feel like this person will make you shake they want to show you the passion they think about that i feel like right now they're going through something dark the dark night of the soul Number four, what does person feel or think about you? Number four, this person want to unlock your your pussy or unlock your dick. They want to figure figure the code for you. Like there's a code, you have a code. Like you, you got a passport, like do not access passport, something like that, this person think. This person think that they want to figure something about you so they can get in. They want to figure the code. Seriously, for some of you, this person trying to figure out your phone codes because they're paranoid about something so they want to snoop on your phone a phone phone yeah this person think that you they you you hiding something you are phony like you're 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 being like deceptive or you hide something so they want to look inside your phone rather of you this person want to like know why you don't want to have sex with them it's like they think that you're cheating or they think they have someone else they don't want to know why you don't want them this person's frustrated so they just want to go inside your phone and see why why they, your pussy or your dick does not feel them why this is how this person think right now. It could be like feeling them, but they feel like there's something, but because you, you've been pulling away. So they want to know why. They're trying to figure out the reason why. This person's like their brain is just holding back because the spirit want to hold them back, not to, to understand why so much. Hmm. This person thinking about murdering you. Not dark, but also there is something violent about this person. Yeah. Number five, what do they feel and think about you? Number five, this person want to come to you like a walk into you. Like they, they're chill. This person is very chilled about walking towards you. They just chilled and walk towards you, walk towards you. I feel like you're looking at this. Where is this person? You're paranoid. You're like in hell. You're like just looking for this person. You're walking around, scared. Where is this person? Where did they go? They blocked me everywhere. And this person just taking the sweet ass time to come to you because they're chilled. They know what's going to happen. I feel like this person could be a psychic. They know what's going to happen in the future. So they're having their time to walk, do everything, because they know what's going to happen. Something about this person, they're sure about what they got, what going to happen, what they going to happen with you and them. They're sure. So they just let in you with your shit, to deal with your shit. I feel like this person know that you have a lot of shit, so they want you to deal with the shit, because they don't want to be there dealing with your shit or something like that. But they have feelings for you, this person. They just don't want to deal with it now or just think about it or even feel it. They're just supposed to walk in in the garden or somewhere like that. I see this person. There's a flower. It was a very chill. And there's like a lot of atmosphere around them. It's nice. And outside, it's like up inside the bubble, okay? Inside the bubble, there's like a garden, flowers. 
And outside the bubble, there's fire, and people burning on fire, and there's people who don't know what, and this person does not want to look at everything. They're just inside the bubble, and the bubble moving where they walk, and inside the bubble, there's heaven and garden, and angels and butterflies, and this person doesn't want to even look outside the bubble. So I feel like this, this is how this person feels like they could right now. They're very chill. I like this energy. It's really nice. This person's personality feels like soul. It feels like their soul feels like weed. It's really nice. Also, this person, uh, one time then you will run to them when you come to them like on fire. When you realize what you done wrong or what you realize what bath you want to take. And you, when you reach to this person, like when you're burning, I feel like you're burning and you're all on fire. You reach to this person like scared and you want to touch them it's like, hey, don't go. This person will look at you and will just like hug you so hard. And they will hug you and make all this fire go away. I feel like this person know that you need to do that alone, something like that. This is really interesting. This this person got is very spiritual. I see a sense they make you see a lot of things.